I'm going to open my start menu and I'm going to go to smooth draw I'm going to load it and smooth draw has lots of options we're going to start by focusing on the layers feature and then talk about how to cut and paste problems into smooth draw to write with now here is my foreground color and that's very useful so as I'm writing I can choose and select colors to write I can customize them onto my palette here and that's something we can go over later but right now we, we have colors we're choosing and then we can change our background color by selecting over here we can pick colors to write with and uh, I'm going to set my background layer smooth draw is composed of layers think of them as pages I'm going to set my background layer to a certain color let's see what color do I want to use I'm going to click this box right here right now it's set on black let's set it to a little bit lighter this is somewhat of a red why not and then I'm going to add a bunch of layers I'm going to add as many layers as I think I would need to get through whatever presentation I'm going through so here I've added three layers and there are lots of options for layers I can move them around I can hide them um, I can delete them I can add a bunch of them whatever I want to do I can import and export them if I have a special layer I want to save this eyeball right here is how I hide and show layers so the way I think about layers is I start with my uppermost layer that's layer 3 and I write something now I'm going to select my brush tool right here pick a color to write with and then write something so 3 plus 2 and obviously I can change the brush size here I can dra drag and open the circle to any size I want that's my third layer now if I'm talking on the video and I'm done with the third layer and I want to go to a new page I just hide the third layer by clicking the eye and now I work on my second layer and in this way I keep working down until I'm done with my presentation when I'm done with layer 2 I hit the eyeball and I hide that layer. If I ever need to go back to it, I can show it by clicking those layers. And they would go on t and these layers can keep compounding, so I can even think about using presentations in that way where layers build on each other. And what I'm also going to do is on layer one, let's copy and paste an image. So here I have something I've downloaded. This is uh, book two from the 2010 New York State test. It's a part two question. I'm going to click in my tools on Adobe Reader and there's a bunch of tools in here. I go to my select and zoom tools. I'm going to focus on the snapshot tool. So here I'll click and I'll drag what I want to get a picture of. And it'll tell me that I've selected that area. Okay. Go over and click onto smooth draw. And what's nice is you can just hit control V and you can paste the image on there. Do I want, so they're saying here that my paste is larger than the canvas or not larger canvas? Sure, I'll enlarge the canvas. So now it's fitting on there. And I can make adjustments, but really um, what you're probably going to do is copy and paste these things, and then you can write on it. And obviously I wouldn't use something this thick. Right? And there are all kinds of adjustments I can make here. I can write and talk. And again, when I'm done with that layer, I can hide it by clicking the hide button. And then I can keep writing. So in this way I have this pages feature. And